Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about the Million Dollar Beetle. Guys, have you seen this? 1964 Beetle on Hemmings.com. We're in the middle of October right now, October 2018, and there's a Million Dollar Beetle for sale. Why is it a million dollars? Well, they claim it is the most original Beetle out there. Uh, it's got 22 original miles. And now I think it's 23. They rolled it off a trailer and it clocked over to 23. Oh my gosh, that drops the price, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, a, a million dollars, and it's been on Hemmings uh, for the past week or so. It's generated a lot of buzz, a lot of media attention, which is the genius of this all. I, I know the internet trolls out there in the very beginning were knocking this thing up and down, and I get it, I understand why. I mean, a million dollars, that's a high price tag for a Beetle, for sure. But the genius of this, the underlining, uh, say, in script writing that I learned was the subtext, right? Let's post this beetle for a million bucks and it will generate a hype. It'll generate uh, media attention. And from there, that could build its credibility and build such a hype possibly where there'll be somebody out there to say, boom, I'll, I'll drop the money on this car. Who knows? Um, but if you go to Hemmings.com uh, and go to their website, look up the Million Dollar Beetle, 64 Beetle, Black Beetle with the red interior, or you can just do a Google search. You'll see a ton of media uh, spots. It's getting a lot of, uh, you know, print or, say, online uh, uh, stories about the car. I haven't seen, you know, full uh, television video of it yet. Fox News did a small piece on their website, but not uh, mainstream uh, television news yet. But it might. And uh, that's, that's the remarkable thing about it. So um, we'll see what happens there. But go to their website and check that out and see what you think. And people want to know what I think about the car. Is it... Is it truly original? Do you really think it's, it's, it's an original piece? And I do. The more I look at the photos, it is an original piece. Yes, uh, with Beatles, you can disconnect the speedometer, right? You can take the speedometer out and crack it open and clock the, the numbers back. It's, it's reasonably simple to do. Um, so yeah, I mean, could someone have done that and then drove the car and and, and just never clocked the miles or, 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 or brought the mileage up. It, it is possible, um, but I don't think in this case. I, I think this is a true piece, um, and it really does never look like it's been like even sat in or tampered with. And the interesting thing about uh, um, a 64 Beetle, a 64 had a one year only seat, and it had like a cord pattern on, its, on their seats for that year. And it's actually difficult to find that material today. You'd have to go through uh, Lenny at West Coast Classics uh, Restoration in Fullerton, California. I think he's got some leads on that. So if you are doing a 64 and you want to go back to the correct seat, I think he would have that for you. Uh, and this seat does have it. I mean, it's very faint. You see it on the red, the top of the red, uh, the top of the cushion and the, the face of the backrest, you see the, the lines. And that was the one criticism I do have towards the car. I mean, you're advertising a car for a million bucks. Why aren't there more pictures? Why aren't there better pictures? These shots of inside a garage with fluorescent light, I mean, when that car was outside off the trailer, they showed that one shot. They should have had a ton of shots out there with natural light really showcasing this car. Um, I guess they're not watching my videos. <laughs> I speak about this all the time. Anyway, um, very cool car. Uh, and if you look at even the finite detail of things, um, even down to a friend of mine pointed it out, uh, the way the cotter pin is through the rear axle nut uh, on the back, they show a shot of that. And the way the pin is, is inserted and split and folded over the nut um, and then painted. So they used to do that in the factory. They used to bang the nut through, uh, I'm sorry, the pin through the nut and then bend it over and then spray paint uh, the carter pin so you would not, it would be uniform with the drum and the nut and you didn't see uh, the carter pin really. Because uh, normally when you bang a carter pin in or you're forcing it through, you're gonna scratch the paint on the pin and they didn't want to show anything like that. So that was a very interesting point. Uh, the other thing that kind of I was in question about is why no hubcaps on and why no outside mirror. A friend of mine pointed that out to me too. He said, you know, by dealership standards, you know, the, the, the inspection before the car had to leave the dealership, the mirror and the hubcaps were supposed to be on the car. Uh, so, well, you know, that's, that's in question. But, you know, very small. Uh, other than that, it looks like the car is really legit, guys. Um, and it, it's amazing. What's this going to bring up? I mean, I've already seen online. Um, there's already a copycat today on uh, Facebook, I saw a, uh, I think an oval window beetle with a rag top that's in the baby blue uh, that they had back then. And sure enough, they're asking, 
just under a million dollars now. I think it's like 800,000 or something. They're saying that that car is all original. Uh, and then when I look at that car, it's nowhere near the condition of the 64. So you're gonna start seeing copycats like that. Now this could spawn, who knows, a firestorm of, of cars that are quote unquote again, all original. So follow my videos and definitely you want to take uh, a measure and ask these sellers a ton of questions. Okay, I, I asked the seller a, a bunch of questions the other day on an old original Beetle that's listed online, and he got offended that I was asking these questions. I don't, you know, I mean, <laughs> you shouldn't be offended. I'm doing this out of my own safety. I gotta ask these questions. I mean, it's only natural, right? So, um, but yeah, this has spawned a, a bunch of internet trolls out there just, you know, talking about this, and uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, comments back and forth, but the amazing thing is the brilliance behind this is that it's generating the hype in the media, uh, and that could build its credibility. Now, who's going to want to own this car? Me, personally? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it, the, the car, realistically, is probably worth anywhere from 35 to 50 grand, maybe 60 grand, if someone willing to plunk down that kind of money. It's probably worth in that range. Uh, but Jalopnik did a great story on this car and I posted it on my Facebook feed if you want to check it out uh, on who would these are the worst cars to own the all original low mileage cars because why you don't want to drive them you know uh, you don't want to add more mileage to that to that dial uh, it's it's sad you know to say I mean when I got that 65 all original from Wappingers Falls New York a few years ago and I have a video on that you go check that out and that had 8,000 original miles on it and if I ever own that car, I mean, that car was sold very quickly. If I ever own that car, I, I just be, be, would be so afraid to drive it. I mean, my restored vehicles, I'm not afraid to drive. I can get in them. I don't care how tip top they look. I want to drive them because I want to have fun. The effort that I put into restoring this car, I want to I wanna have fun with it. But something like this belongs in a museum, belongs in a dealership window, uh, a pass-through area, something to study. Uh, for uh, later on down the line, other restorers or other people looking to restore Beetles when you want to go back to the factory specs, like those little details I was speaking about before with the cotter pin through the rear axle nut. Uh, it's stuff like that, the folds and the headline or where they did the folds and you know how the carpet was placed and um, even, even uh, you know certain details on nuts and bolts and stuff like that. You know, these are great pieces to study and to maybe be, like I said, in a museum or something. Uh, the car looks remarkable. Um, it's not worth a million bucks, but with all the hype centered around it, don't uh, you got to expect that there's going to be a lot of copycats. There's going to be a lot of people angry about the whole situation. We live in a global, communicative commutative world today, so everyone's going to have their own different opinions. Uh, so you just take things with a grain of salt and, and, and ride with it, right? And, and that's about it. So. But yeah, would you want to own this car if you owned it? Leave it in the comments below this video and uh, tell me what you think. I would, I'd like to know what you guys think of all this. Um, you know, some of these all original pieces, this is the hype today. People want all original, unrestored pieces. I mean, even uh, late model Super Beetles I'm seeing that are popping up. Uh, and there's one I think that just popped up again today on bringatrailer.com. It's a baby blue one. And I think they're saying 7,000 original miles. I saw one on there a few weeks ago that was only 800 original miles, and it went over 42,000. And that's a that's a fuel injected convertible Super Beetle, and I'm not into them. Um, but apparently, a, a bunch of dealers were knowing that the Beetle was on its way out back in the day, and they stored these cars, and they knew uh, maybe down the line that this was going to be somewhat uh, collectible. So. Very interesting stuff that's going on. Thank God for the internet that we can see these sort of things. We can get excited about stuff like this and we can chat back and forth about stuff like this. We need to do this, uh, you know, to, to, to kind of keep things in line really, right? I mean, everyone's comments are, you know, are open to hear. So love to hear what you guys think and um, that's it. All right, take care. Uh -huh.